Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all of us. I am Anipia Nur Asia from Universitas Media Gama Malang. Talking about SDGs are sustainable development goals that are 70 strategic goals with 169 targets developed by the UN in 2015. SDGs are a transformation from the MDGs or Millennium Development Goals, which focus on underdeveloped countries as an effort to eradicate poverty. SDGs is a global action plan for developed and developing countries with five basic principles, namely people, planet, prosperity, peace, and partnership. Therefore, the main priority that is the key to fulfilling the SDGs lies with people. Quality human resources will certainly encourage the fulfillment of other strategic goals in the SDGs. Equitable and quality education has a very important role in the development of the country and its society. Including one, every individual has the same opportunity to get quality education. Two, with quality education, you can reduce levels of poverty and economic inequality. Three, a quality education system is able to produce a competent, innovative, and adaptive workforce so that it can increase a country's competitiveness. Four, equitable and quality education also plays an important role in forming a just and democratic society. However, in Indonesia currently there are still several problems related to education, including limited access to education, poverty and dropping out of school, gender inequality, and high unemployment rate among graduates. One of the causes of limited access to education is that the number of teachers is not spread evenly throughout Indonesia. Currently, the number of teaching staff is 3,092,685, decreased 3.26% compared to the previous school year. Malam City in East Java, which is called the City of Education, actually has increased in the dropout rate of 7.1% from 59.49% in 2022 to 66.59% in 2023. This data is based on National Socioeconomic Survey or SOSEMAS by the Central Bureau of Statistics. From the conditions above, I, as a student and part of Indonesian youth, feel moved to do something. Since 2022, I have begun a tutoring program to help others around me get more access to education. From this small step, I have planned to make a big change. I want to initiate a community that concerns about literacy, which will be developed into application that I call Ruwato. The name of this application is taken from Ki Hajar Dewantang's motto, In Ngarsa Sumpuwada, In Madiu Mangon Karso, Teturi Handayan. With the hope that this application will be able to become an example at the forefront. This application will contain learning videos at both elementary, middle, and high school levels. Apart from that, there will be a challenge for one day, one story. Users will later participate in this challenge by telling stories about what they have read and then uploading it to the application as a form of campaign about the importance and interest of literacy culture. This application will later be accessible to all people. The hope is that people who are not able to attend education regularly can take part in learning on this application to help them take the equivalency exam. In this application, I will work together with students in the field of education and others who have an interest in learning and teaching activities. The essence of this application is to strengthen the role of students in improving education in Indonesia. Hopefully, this effort to realize quality education will be able to make the sustainable development course a reality in Indonesia and lead towards a golden Indonesia 2045. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.